Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan. So the left you unread when you wanted my attention. I'm back again with another video per usual. And for today's video, so basically, my sister, she live in another city. She going to college elsewhere. And she left all of her amazing vintage clothing. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying on all of my sister's clothes. <laughs> well, most of them at least. And we're going to see what our favorites are and what the ugliest ones are. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Whoosh. All right, guys. So I picked 11 of my sister's shirts and let's try them on. Tell me why I just filmed a good seven shirts on and they're all in slow-mo. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Anyways, I guess this is the first shirt. I honestly feel like I don't really like this one. It's so flattering, which I love, but the color is just not my favorite. Shirt number two is a 10 out of 10 because Look at it! Like, I'm feeling so businessy, yet hot at the same time. And I didn't really think that was possible, but this shirt taught me that it is. It's just amazing. 10 out of 10. Why would she leave this behind? I don't understand. Shirt number three is just absolutely amazing. It's a Halloween shirt that has a black hat and jack-o'-lanterns and glitter. And dude, this shit would have ate on Halloween, but I have it now, so I guess that's all that matters. Shirt number four is coming in hot with the polka dots. I actually did not think this would be as adorable as it is, but 10 out of 10. Okay, polka dots. Shirt number five is another one of those little business casual moments. Like, ah, I feel like such a bad bitch. This is amazing. I'm gonna wear this to school tomorrow, I think. This is like 11 out of 10. It's so flattering and, ooh, why would she, I don't understand why my sister left all these amazing clothes. Like, finders keepers, losers weepers. <laughs> Shirt number six is actually my favorite top of all time. Why the fuck would she have left this? This is the cutest thing ever. It's a Y2K beeb top. Like, come on now. It has the cutest little detailings and the little bow. I love it so much. Shirt number seven is making me feel like an early 2000s MILF. Like, imagine me just like picking up my kids. Hey, sweetie. Come on now. Just, it's giving MILF. That's all I gotta say. Shirt number eight is making me feel like I'm British and belong in secondary school. Hello, love. I'm from England. That was a very shitty. English accent. Okay, God, I need to stop because that was terrible. Um, I'm sorry to all the British people watching. Um, anyways, it's just a very preppy top. That's all I gotta say. I completely understand why she left this shirt. This is butt ugly. Like, why did she even buy this? Because I'm not seeing the vision. I don't even know if there is a vision. All I know is this is ugly. Next up, we have this adorable little Charlie Brown tank top. I love how this one like flares out and honestly, so cute. I'm gonna give this a good rating. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, like most of the other shirts, but just. Finally, we have shirt number 11. And wow, I saved the best for last 100% because Come on now, this is the cute, I'm gonna stop using the word cute, but this is the most stunning, gorgeous, admirable, admirable top I have ever seen in my life. Why would she leave this? I just, my brain can't comprehend because come on now, this is godly. I love this top. All right guys, next up we're gonna do skirts. This is skirt number one, and this one, okay, obviously I wouldn't style it with this top, but this one gets a good rating. This is like a good 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10 skirt. It is just so beautiful. I wish it was a maxi skirt and went all the way down to my, like, ankle, but regardless, it's so adorable. This next skirt, I actually have no idea why my sister left this because I am in love with this skirt. Me and this skirt have a special bond. It's just... Come on, it's like 
it's my favorite thing ever. I love this length. I love the pattern, it's little flowers. And it's just, oh, it's just to die for. This next skirt is just not my favorite. Look at how, like, what the hell is that? I mean, I guess it's okay when you have a shirt that covers it up, but just not my favorite. I mean, it's actually pretty cute like this, but just when you look at it like that, like, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. This next skirt is almost cute, but I just don't like how it like bunches up at the waist. I don't like the elastic band it has. So, oh, like honestly, this one isn't really my favorite. I understand why she left this. It's all right. Finally, for skirts, we have this adorable patterned one. And I would give this skirt a 10 out of 10, except it just, like my whole butt crack is out right now. Like this shit is just falling off. It's too big. But other than that, it's, a 10 out of 10. Finally, we're gonna do pants. She only has two pairs of pants here and I think that they're very ugly. So let's try them on. First up, we have the ugliest pants I think I've seen in a while. But my sister bought these during COVID um, on Shein and God damn, why haven't we gotten rid of these yet? These are just atrocious. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with a zero out of 10. At least they make the butt look good though. This last pair of pants also gets a zero out of 10. There's just random zippers everywhere and I just don't think they're cute in the slightest. Whoops, I just stepped on a bunch of cat food and it's in my shoe, ew. But yeah, these are the pants, ugly, zero out of 10. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe for more um check out all my social media my instagram my tiktok it's all in my bio and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye